one of the biggest fears of a doctoral candidate is that your examiner's report comes back with the external examiner saying, this research would never have been done if the candidate had only read the work by this very important author, and you'd never heard of that person. Of course, your librarian can help you find out who the top academics in your field are, but you can do it yourself just using Google Scholar. This video will show you how. The first thing to do is to create a Google Scholar profile using your Gmail account. And when you do that, pay particular attention to filling in your areas of interest. Now go to your profile and click on an area of interest. I've selected computers and education in this case. And when you click on that, Google Scholar will bring up a list of the top people in your field. Now, by pure fluke, I happen to be the second here, but look at the number of citations and you'll see that the top cited person only has 7,534 citations. So clearly, he isn't really a guru in the field, neither am I. So we go and look for another uh, field of interest, because I think you need about 40,000 citations before you could be considered a guru of any sort. So this time I've selected instructional design. And look, there, Jeroen van Merienboer is up there with 43,913, followed by Jamie Smith, Paul Kirshner, Fred Pass. All the top guys in the field are there. And then what you can do is have a look at their areas of interest and see how closely they are aligned with yours. And so you continue until you are reasonably confident that you have found all the top people in your field. And then finally, look at their own profile to discover their articles they've written, their themes, their metrics, their collaborators, and then, of course, follow them so that you keep up to speed with their work.